spot number one. They do have a spot for us? Yeah. How convenient. How convenient. All right, so here we are on the side of some interstate somewhere in New Mexico. And we just had a blowout on our trailer. Look at this. Fender is jacked the crap up. I don't know if you can see that black streak back there, but it just completely locked up this uh, this tire. This the tread here was flipped over top of the uh, that fender, and it just locked the whole thing down. Crap! It actually look at this. Smashed up that. Oh, busted up the rear view. Man, I'm glad that's okay. Hopefully everything else is all right. All right, so got to deal with this. Luckily, there's a campground about five miles up the road. I'm going to see if I can get the car off of here, get the spare tire put on the trailer uh, so that I can, you know, so that we can be mobile again. Tambi will probably just drive the car. I don't know. This is just a pain in the butt. It's all part of the fun, though. We'll figure it out. Uh, ooh, uh. All right. Anything interesting you'd like to say, Tambi? It's all part of the grand scheme of <laughs> yeah. Grand scheme of things. All part of the adventure, huh? All part of the adventure. All right, Molly. Good thing you know how to handle these kind of situations. I'm going to put you in charge. All right? I do not. <laughs> you, you do not? All right, so I, I guess that means I'm still in charge, huh? Yeah. All right, let's do this. So I got to do something with this fender before we can put the wheel back on. But I think, I think this hub and the rotor and everything is still pretty true. I don't think anything is bent. It seems to be spinning nice and clean. So I think we're good there. So that's, that's really good news. Oh my goodness! Woo! Uh, Alright, sucky part's gonna be getting it down after the tire's on it. Here you go! Okay, all right, we're patched up and ready to carry on. Uh, this tire I put on there is pretty iffy. This is the spare, and as you can see, that, that tread, or that rubber looks pretty bad anyways. That, that is why I do not want to put the car on there. Tamby's gonna drive the car. I'm gonna follow her to a campground where we can stop and figure out what to do next. Okay, so just take it easy. Okay. I'm following you, okay. so don't go any faster than say 55. All right, got okay. It. All right, you ready, babe? Ready. All right, let's do this. Nice and 
slow. Whoa. So this is our little home for the next few nights or however long it takes us to figure out this trailer situation and tire situation. All right, so here's kind of an interesting thing. Oops. We have one of these fancy things. This is a tire pressure monitoring system. It actually has these little sensors on all of the tires that are in contact with the road, basically. Cycles through them and tells them what the, tells us what the pressure is. So this thing is really handy. It lets us know if we need to air up a tire or, you know, if there's a slow leak, that kind of thing. But it's not all that handy whenever your tire uh, explodes outright. So kind of the sequence of events that we went through uh, concerning this tire pressure monitor was we were driving down the road and then I heard kind of this I, this subtle kind of pop sound, really, really light. And then I felt just a little bit of a pull on the RV, just a little bit, like I just rested my foot barely on the brake pedal. So I look in the rear view mirror and I see this trail of white smoke behind us. And... Uh, and that, that's when I started pulling the RV over to the side of the road. And then the alarm goes off on our tire pressure monitoring system. Now, uh, you know, I mean, th this little system here is just awesome for keeping tabs on what the tire pressure is. But as for as far as uh, explosions, <laughs> you know, it's a little slow to react under those particular circumstances. <laughs> but... As it is right now, you know, we're, we're dealing with it. Actually, uh, I found uh, a company here local, uh, Craig Tire. They do have three tires in stock, so we can take the wheels over there tomorrow and get two tires for sure. I think one of the wheels that, uh, that was actually on the trailer um, when it exploded, that one might be done. It actually was, it's got a flat spot in the wheel where we were <laughs> dragging it until we were able to stop it. So uh, we'll just have to see. As you can see, my mood is pretty lighthearted. I'm not taking this too too uh, too hard right now. It's uh, the, the financial part of it does kind of suck because we're having to pay for, you know, multiple nights at this park long enough to have the tires remounted on the wheels. I just ordered a wheel for our for I'm sorry I ordered a fender for the trailer and these things are going to be about $150 so I mean I definitely can't reuse that one that was on there that thing is like mangled so financially it's going to be a little bit of a dent in the old pocketbook but we'll be back on the road here pretty soon Tamby is the one that uh, we're going to have to be looking out for here. She's the one that's taking this kind of hard because her schedule is thrown off. My schedule is so messed up. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be okay though, Tamby. It's fine. We're going to have new tires. We're going to have a new fender. Oh, I got to get the I got to get the the uh, rearview mirror taken care of too. I forgot about that. That thing got smashed up too. That side view mirror. Yeah, it's a mess. See, Tamby, it's all about making memories. These are some great memories. And there's no better way to make memories than these kind of tragic situations. Unexpected mm. events like this, this is what you remember, Tamby. On the upside, we can get some more schooling done before we move on again. Oh, that's right. Schooling, Molly. You're the best kid ever, you know that? <laughs> Now move that high enough and then move that jack stand underneath that frame. All right, right there. Yep. All right, you got it? Yeah. Okay, now let the jack down. Uh, take take the take the pole out. Put it on the little nut down there. And turn it counterclockwise. So loosen. So Lucy. There it is. Boom shakalaka. Have you ever seen the the uh, the movie A Christmas Story, Molly? Mm -hmm. No. With, you haven't seen the one with Ralphie? You'll shoot your eye out? Mm -mm. Molly! Granddad watches it. 
Well, he hasn't watched it with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, don't drop those lug nuts. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. That's my kid there. You ain't no powder puff. <laughs> Give me five of those greasy hands. Let me see those. Oh, yeah. This is where it was drugged down the road. I guess that's what's left all the uh, the black mark on the highway, huh? It's, it's actually, whoa, sorry. It's actually this side that I'm a little worried about. There's this little notch missing out of the rim there. Uh, I'm not sure, ow, some sharp metal in there. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to use that wheel or not. I hope so, because that is what I would turn into our spare. Oh well. Could be worse, right? Yeah. Tires dropped off at the tire place. They'll be ready tomorrow. Okay, so here's what's going on. That is the broken bolt. It's supposed to look like that, but in order to get it out, we gotta grind those welds off. Right there, oh, that is what we need right there. All right, Molly, here's the plan. You pick up that hammer. Okay, now hold it way, way back over your head. Okay, no, over here to the side. We're gonna swing sideways. Okay, now I'm gonna hold this piece right here. Uh, that's dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna hold it right there. All right, when I say three, you're gonna hit it as hard as possible, okay? And I'm gonna quickly move my fingers. Okay, you ready? Rear back, rear back. Ready? I don't like this. One, two, three. Let's see. All right, you ready? Yep. Is it going? Uh-huh. Oh, oh, that was... <laughs> Molly, I think you might have been able to do that. We got it. Whoa. <laughs> Hello. Thanks for your help, Molly. You're welcome. All right. Another project down. Yep. What you gonna do, Tambi? Fix the mirror. Speak up really loud over the wind noise. I'm gonna fix the mirror. <laughs> How's it going with the installation? Uh, 
Uh, so while we do have the glass put back together on the side view mirror, the back of it is still completely naked. Yeah, whatever little piece was there is definitely not supposed to look like this with a nice little, you know, painted plastic piece on there, but we're just going to rock it like this with the, uh, the plastic skeleton for now. There's no sense spending money on that kind of thing. Make it is better. Uh-huh. What did you just say? I said make it is better. This one's going to make that one look bad. <laughs> yeah, the... There you go. There you go. Okay, I just looked up on that. Push it in, Mike. There you go. Okay. All right, that one's through. Okay. There you go. See, this, see what I'm doing? Yeah. There you go. It's not not a ratchet on there, but that'll that'll do the same job. All right. And that one's yeah, 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 yeah. tight. Tight. Fender. Nice job. Fender mounted. Now I just have to. We've got a little bit of a wiring problem. The, uh, the the plugs are different from the old fender and the new fender, so I'm just gonna basically splice these two together, and then that should be it. There you go. Now that goes. That yeah, way, right? the cone cone part in. Yep. I did learn how to change a tire in the ninth grade. In the ninth grade? Yeah. Have you actually ever had to change your own tire before? No. No? Hmm. I learned in driver's ed though. Yeah, but if you needed to, you could. Yeah. Okay. You have the knowledge. You just... I have the knowledge. I just never had to use it. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Well, the now, only... that, now that we have 10 tires going down the road, Tamby, that's very good knowledge to have. The only, yeah. <laughs> the only two times that I've ever had to change a tire you were with me and you did it. How convenient. How convenient. <laughs> Alright. Now do star pattern, go across. Yep, there you go. Your hands are all dirty. They're all dirty. Oh. Thanks for your help, honey. You're welcome. You can go inside now if you want. Okay. I hate to see you leave, but I'd love to watch you go. Oh, watch out. All right. Now, what's left for me is I have to figure out how to splice these wires together in a way that hopefully results in the light working. Okay, we have a bit of a game going on here. 
Now the way the game works is Molly has to get from this black block all the way across all these yellow ones to this other black block. Oh, oh, so far so good. She's got those long bony legs and arms. She's really, she's really made for this game, you know? Whoa, whoa, a little sliding going on there. Oh, keep it together, Molly. All right. 